Hello and welcome to a Let's Play. And right now, we're going to be looking at Prison Architect. I have no clue what this is going to turn out to be like, but I saw it on Steam and thought it was interesting. And we're going to find out how to go about playing this game together, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And this is just the, I guess, the introduction to the game right now. Let me move this mouse cursor out of the way. It seems pretty interesting. Prison Architect. Excellent. Now what? Oh, incoming call. The CEO, eh? This is a tough one. There is a prisoner incarcerated at the facility who has been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We being contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself, with enough space inside to fit the execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. A large jail door. Well, maybe it is. It was blinking, so we'll click it right there. Okay. And. Requires entrance. We got that covered. Oh, incoming call. Your workmen are responsible for construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the store room and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when you're building a new facilities. Wow, this voice does not match that character's drawing. While we wait, take a look around. Use the WASD or arrow keys to move around, and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Alright. Excellent. Alright, cool. So, inside the building, I want a jail cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Brick walls, eh? Okay, so I guess we'll click that there. There. Gotta wait. We can speed this up, right? What's this arrow right there? There's a clock there. I'm assuming we can speed it up. Oh, look at this. We're getting this done. Look at these guys. They're a beast. Yes. Now, add large jail doors to these dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placing by clicking the middle mouse button or press R. Objects. Aha. There we go. We built those two large jail 
doors. And oh my god, look at these. This guy's so powerful, man. Holding that thing by himself, that must weigh a ton. But anyways. That's looking good. Now, we need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in a smaller area where the condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in a larger area. Okay, rooms, cell, where your prisoner lives, cell, and execution. Okay. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires the electric chair. Okay then, a toilet, can't we just give them a bucket? And a bed. Okay, so we also need the electric chair right there. Big debate whether capital punishment is beneficial or not. Hmm. It's hard to say, you know, in some cases where you know someone is a convicted felon, then you kind of want to just dismiss them through capital punishment because it is a strain on the economy to keep inmates alive. But at the same time, what happens if, you know, some guy gets convicted of double double murder or something but he's really innocent and got framed so you know there's the big debate let's pick this up that's essential take blah, blah, blah. that's the essentials taken care of but there's still a few improvements you can make it's up to you though these aren't strictly required it depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside you could add some lighting and paved pathways if you think it needs it. Be gone with you, demon! <laughs> this is the man in question. Edward Ramsey. A teacher once, would you believe? It's not a place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on him to select him, then right click just outside his cell to initiate the transfer. Well, we're not going to worry about those. Click on Edward. Oh. The chief. Holy crap, he looks like that, uh... Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer, guilty as charged. He confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was home.
Whoa. Uh oh. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I. Don't. Just don't. What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Clearly, as you asked me, deserves. Man, that was horrible. Clear as day, if you ask me, deserves every bull he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching her wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there. With a loaded gun, knowing you'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he's committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Incoming call. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't fully functioning yet. Because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electricity supply. Oh, shit. There's an entire grid we gotta do? Okay, then. Now, we're reviewing the prison in utility mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in this prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by a substa substation which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. The nearest electric cable are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the wing of the prison. Okay, utilities mode. And we need the cables. I guess we'll just drag this across. I so, uh, alright, sorry about that. I just had to stop fraps for a second because in that utilities view, it lagged up a lot. I'm not too sure why. It's probably because this is still an alpha and I don't know, maybe something to do with optimization. But anyways, let's continue. Lights aren't on. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. The new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the main cables. Okay, so hopefully it won't lag up. Utilities. All right, here we go. There are you. Is that good? Is that what they wanted? Hopefully it is. 
Hurry up, guys. Let's go. Let's go. We don't have all day. Snap, snap. Got people to execute right here. Excellent. But this chair still doesn't have power. We're almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it. Throw. No. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds and make sure everything is okay. Ah! Power failure. Use too much power. Well. That didn't work. Looks, looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need some more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Step 1. Switch each capacitor back on by clicking them in the utilities mode. Step 2. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it in utilities mode to turn it on. Okay, so we got a capacitor. One, two, three. And then we had to click these. Repair switch on. What's going on? Where's my one capacitor? Turn on the power station back in utilities mode. Alright. Just switch that back on. Test the chair again. Click on it in utilities mode to turn it on. Okay. Well done! I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Are they going to show us what happens next? The priest. Can I help you? Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have something. I have to do something. I can't live with things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you've done if you ask him to. But you must answer your own crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. It is time, Edward. 
you have done the right thing, even though this world has not forgiven you for it. You will be with God soon, and He will have the final judgment on you. This is eerie. <laughs> All right. What's going to happen? Edward Ramsey, or Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Flip the switch. Cooked with electricity. GG. <laughs> Press escape to continue. I guess that's the end of the tutorial and where we begin our adventure on creating the most badass prison to hold the most terrible, terrible people. And for now, we'll end this and hopefully you guys join me for the next time where we begin building our masterpiece. Thanks for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed. and. See y'all next time.